If you ever get invited to visit the Astoria house made famous by the Goonies, don't expect the new owner to just let you in. Bayman Zachary has big plans. I want to build the front contraption that was in the movie. I feel like that's the biggest part of the house, and, and you just can't let people in unless they stand on the tree stump and do the truffle shuffle. <laughs> Bayman is a Kansas City entrepreneur who owns businesses that sell collectible trading cards. He has a Bury the Hatchet franchise too, but most of all, he's a Goonie for life. Bayman, you, you just signed the, the, uh, the papers, the Goonie house is yours. How does this moment feel? It's completely surreal. It was a childhood dream from the time I saw the Goonies when I was eight years old. I dreamed of someday owning the Goonies house and, and chasing a treasure and, and, and finding a one I really treasure. So this is unbelievable. It, it really is. Bayman sees himself as a caretaker of a special property where he and his wife Liz will only be living part time. He saw the Goonies in the summer of 85 with his best friend Michael. They've done well for themselves, so they made a pact the day the house went on the market. And I said, I'll buy the Goonies house if you buy the house next door. And so it's literally, we're gonna be neighbors again after 30 some odd years. How is this possible? It's like we live happily ever after as neighbors. It's the most surreal thing. It is so surreal, it's so great.